Italy's Campi Flegre volcano may have a more violent history than experts thought. A new study finds that the volcano, or a nearby volcano, erupted a massive layer of ash and volcanic rock about 109,000 years ago. This eruption, dubbed the Madaloni X6 eruption, was similar in size to the largest known Campi Flegre eruption, which occurred 40,000 years ago and was so large that it created a caldera 15 kilometers in diameter. Despite relatively large uncertainties, the Madaloni X6 eruption is likely, by a wide margin, to be at least the second largest eruptive event to occur in the Campi Flegre region since 109,000 years ago, wrote lead study author Giada Fernandez, a doctoral student in geosciences at Sapienza University of Rome, in a new paper published January 15 inches. The journal, Communications, Earth, and environment. Campi Flegre lies just east of Naples, at the southern end of the fertile Campanian plain. The soil here is rich and fertile, made from volcanic ash shattered by an eruption 40,000 years ago. Confirmation of a previous eruption of nearly the same magnitude has subtle implications for the risks facing the estimated 400,000 people living in the caldera. The volcano has been experiencing instability for about 75 years, which may or may not lead to an eruption. If such an eruption occurs, it will almost certainly be small, said Christopher Kilburn a volcanologist at University College London who was not involved in the new study. However, if Campi Flegre has experienced several caldera forming eruptions in the past, this could indicate that in the long term, the volcano has the potential to produce more powerful eruptions. What the new paper cannot explain, however, is whether the Madaloni X6 eruption originated from Campi Flegre itself, or whether magma erupted from a fissure several tens of kilometers north of the caldera. This wouldn't be significant to anyone in the eruption zone if such a catastrophic event occurred, Kilburn said. However, it's important for researchers monitoring the volcano, as it can help them focus on the signals most likely to indicate a major eruption. Researchers know that the volcano left behind a layer of ash before its eruption 40,000 years ago. The difficulty in understanding this eruption is that most of its traces were erased by the last major eruption. Rocks from the Madaloni X6 eruption are now mostly visible in small outcrops in the Apennine Mountains, Kilburn said, or in boreholes drilled deep into the earth. Fernandez and his colleagues used these outcrops to model what the 109,000-year-old eruption might have looked like. They found that it did originate in the Campi Flegre region and began with an explosive eruption of ash and rock that formed a classic billowing volcanic cloud. Next, a period of massive pyroclastic flows ensued, avalanches of hot gas and rock that formed a layer of rock called an ignimbrite. This ignimbrite was two meters deep in some places. The eruption is estimated to have ejected more than 36 cubic miles, 150 cubic kilometers, of magma from the subsurface. That's not much smaller than the largest known eruption, which occurred 40,000 years ago, Fernandez and his colleagues report. By comparison, the last eruption at Campi Flegre occurred in 1538 and ejected about 0.005 cubic miles, 0.02 cubic kilometers of magma, Kilburn said. New 
study is exemplary work, Kilburn said, and demonstrates the need for a better understanding of the magma conduits beneath the Campi Flegre system. If the 109,000-year-old eruption originated from Campi Flegre itself, it suggests the caldera has the potential for repeated large eruptions, he said. If the eruption originated from a nearby volcanic fissure, it indicates that the area requires further study.